Hey, it's Dorothy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on a canvas and I feel like it's been a long time since I've just really just played with medium and mark making and just doing art just to do art. So I am actually going to be doing, uh, let's say, a few different layers and starting off with just adding some random papers onto the canvas. And I'm just using some Mod Podge or any kind of dec uh, decoupage glue would work. And then just tearing small pieces and covering this 8x8 eight eight canvas. I'm going to be teaching a in-person class, which I'm actually really excited about, at my work. Um, I work for a school district and we're having a professional development day. And I kind of volunteered to do something like this with some of our employees, so I'm super excited. And I wanted to just kind of go through my process and my thoughts and kind of write everything down, judge how long it takes, things like that. Now, of course, I super speeded on this video, so the video is not a good indication on the time, but um, obviously I kept track on in real time. So I just grabbed a bunch of random papers that I have in my junk journaling supplies, and this is like, you know, used envelopes, um, the beautiful black and white uh, botanical looking print was actually paper that was covering our copier paper. So I just thought it was so odd and I had to keep every single one of those wrappers. It's so, so, so pretty. But um, I tried to keep most of the paper on the front of the canvas, but of course some of it spills over, which is fine. And I just put more of the decoupage glue or Mod Podge and uh, made sure that that all stuck down. So once the layer dried and I didn't use a heat gun on it because like I said, I really was keeping track of the time and how long it took me. But again, cut that stuff out for your, <laughs> for, so you don't have to watch glue dry. Um, so now the next layer, I'm adding the mark. So I just grabbed some just random colors of paint. Um, I always stick with the yellow because I always feel like yellow should be used in everything. Pink, favorite color. And then I did used an olive green, which I just love that color combination. It just will look so pretty. And I grabbed a lot of these like garbage junk things that I used to use all the time to make these marks. And I, like I said, love the fact that I got to play with those kind of things again. So I had um, some like a tissue roll, uh, which is actually like a, from a tape, um, like a masking tape kind of thing, but a smaller one. That little white one right there is a um, adding machine roll, the middle part of that. And what I did on a lot of that is I added the yellow paint and then kind of stamped it, if you want to call it that, that white, like I said, rolling, um, not rolling paper, oh my God, <laughs> receipt paper, and like kind of stamped off. I added some spray and now that white is just like watered down acrylic paint and I just um, splattered that all over the place. I'm using some bubble wrap to move some paint around. I end up um, trying again kind of the idea of removing product but I think it was already starting to dry so I was pretty happy at the fact that it was fast drying but also I it didn't uh, react the way I wanted it to. This is a piece of corrugated cardboard and I really did get some grooves and I really like the way those look. That center section right there that I'm playing with, it's just kind of one big blob of pink. Now I love me some pink, but that was just way too much pink. This part right here, I'm using that used Starbucks card and some ink and just um, adding some lines of black, which I, again, great way to add some color. I love black splatter, so I pulled the little tube off of this one and then just kind of splattered all over just to give it some more, um, well, black splatter. <laughs> so there it is looking really pretty. What I put it out in the middle there, it's just like I mentioned before, like one big blob of pink. So I am going to fix that later and, um, and, and I'll point that out when I get there. So the next layer, what I decide to do is I just cut up some bright colored tissues and I'm just mod podging them again right on wherever I feel like it just needs something and again that middle section with that big blob of pink it just kept telling me something needs to change there so I did add some yellow I do love to add yellow to projects like I mentioned earlier I feel like everything should have a little bit of yellow and um, again just kind of looked around the canvas I wasn't too concerned about following any, um, you know, pleasing to the eye 
um, uh, rules or, you know, the power of three and all those other kind of art, you know, balance type of rules. I really was just looking at the, the canvas itself where I already put colors and um, product and thought it needs a little something there. And that's what I did. I love using the tissue because it's transparent. So even though you are adding color, you're still including those bottom layers in um, the canvas. And I think that's really why I'd like to add um, some tissue at this stage. So you see there that right kind of in the middle of that pink blob, like I keep calling it, I did add a little bit more of that white and black um, print. And then I'm just adding a little bit of that um, olive paint using the bubble wrap to add just a little bit more mark so it kind of blends in a little more because without it, it just really um, like stood out because it wasn't um, mixed media up. <laughs> I don't know the right word. <laughs> Grunged up. I don't know. Whatever. So now it seems to blend a little bit better and you can't tell that I just randomly plopped that white piece of paper right in the middle of the canvas. So everything that I have on my fingers, like extra paint, things like that, I'm just kind of smearing it on the sides because um, I believe that canvases should be complete on all the sides. So no matter where you look at this thing, you're always going to see some kind of color or at least a finished um, a finished canvas. And I'm creating a mask right now and I'm just really, this really super wonky stem with leaves. And then in a minute, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it out for you. There we go. I think I have this on super warp speed so you don't have to see me try to cut through the whole thing. But I'm creating a mask right now and I just decided, I don't know why, I was gonna use this wonky, um, like I said, leaf stem with leaves and um, it's thick enough to where you will see some of the colors underneath it and you'll see in just a minute I'm trying to decide where I want to put it and but I do want it to kind of go across the entire thing I also like to leave an area where I can add a quote or something even though I don't have a quote in mind I know I'm going to leave something so I hope you like this video and if you do give me a thumbs up I post at least two videos a week one is always scrapbooking and the other is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center, which is the name of my craft room and also my blog. I'll have a link below to my blog so you'll get some better close-ups and just more information on products that I use, things like that. Um, but basically, like I said, I, I post or I, I create a lot of different things. I Paper products or projects are probably my favorite, but I love stuff like this. I mean, look at how messy my fingers are whenever I do show you them. It looks so great, and I love that. And it's really funny because I'm not really a big, like, mixed media, painty, wet medium kind of person on my scrapbooks. I'm pretty basic, actually, but um, I love mixed media on canvases, also in my junk journal which I also have a playlist for so you can feel free to look through those but um, again I do hope you decide to subscribe I um, I believe you'll you'll like some of my crafty goodies and also if you leave me a comment I'll definitely respond if you have any questions or just wondering what it is I'm doing um, if I'm not explaining it enough things like that so another thing that I really like the canvas about this type of canvas art is you see how chunky everything is with all those layers and those tissues and those papers it all kind of just crumbles and so that gives another dimension to the canvas and I think it just adds so much interest and it's so pretty I just went ahead and grabbed a white paint marker and I'm just adding lines whatever I see fit um, polka dots here and there I'm kind of thickening those out a little bit um, just a, something to further embellish that part that is left over after masking it with the black paint. I've also done this where I've masked it with white paint, but I think I wanted to do black because it really definitely stands out more using a black paint, but either one would be perfectly fine. Um, and I, I, it's just so pretty. And look at how, if you paid attention to what this canvas looked like prior to, you know, masking and everything. 
um, like I mentioned, I wasn't too worried about, um, you know, the balance and the composure, you know, those kind of things, because I knew I was doing something like this, but it's so kind of, uh, like a hot mess, really, but then you mask it with something, and it just looks so pretty, and I, I love how you can see all the different colors, but it's not so overwhelming, because now it's just underneath it, like an image, in a sense, and I just use a black paint pen, a white one, and right now I'm using a gold one. And again, I'm just adding a little bit more marks here and there, a little bit more uh, specific to the design at this point, where when we were mark making earlier, it was just random, basically just getting color and um, some interest to the canvas. And at this point, like I said, it's a little bit more intentional. I do not like the top of this little leafy thing that I made because it looks like it's supposed to be some sort of flower or something, but it definitely does not look like it's a flower. So I may work on that later, but for now it, it is what it is and I'm not going to redo or paint over that portion. But once you get done kind of adding all your little marks and and your little designs and you're just embellishing it it just takes a life of its own and again i just really love it and i hope you agree and if you do give me a thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye